Corey today. I love it so much because it is about um, two nurses that served in the Vietnam War, okay? Their names are Diane and Edie. They met in 1969 in Vietnam, and they said, you know, they were the first line of defense, really, between the rockets and keeping their soldiers alive. They said, you know, the sights and sounds from that time were truly uh, tragic, but that they uh, had a bond that cannot be broken, and here's why. So one night, um, Diane said she heard the worst sound. She said she heard oh, no. a rocket coming, a mirror in her tiny little closet shattered onto the ground. So she said she crawled over to next door where Edie was. Edie was under her bed with her helmet on over her curlers eating peanut butter and chocolate under the bed. She said, Edith, what are you doing? And Edith said, if we're going out, we're going out full of chocolate and peanut butter. That's what's going to happen. No. So she said they got under the bed together. They giggled. And she said, you know, that humor has served them <laughs> for the remainder <laughs> of... my type of girl. Yeah, I mean, chocolate how much fun um, to be in that moment of such a serious circumstance. And she said, you know, if we would have died that night, we were holding each other, we oh. were together. And she said that's what the whole sort of significance of that was there for them. So Your brother and sisters in arms, you know, exactly. literally. And then she said years later at the Women's Vietnam Memorial, lots of the soldiers that they served with came to find them to thank <gasps> them. And she said, you know, it was just such Amazing. a full circle moment. And they're, um, you know, obviously sharing their story today. But I just thought that was such a moment. She said, you know, uh, when you come home from serving, a lot of family and friends expect you to be the person you were when you left. And you're just not. And of course. Um, I hope that we can, you know, continue to fund service services for our men and women who come home um, so that they can you and know learn how to cope from PTSD and all the things they're struggling with but um